Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to today's English grammar class. That is English first paper. And I hope that you must have understood whatever we have learned last week, especially in grammar section we have covered nouns and pronouns. I think you remember it. Let's proceed with a new topic today. Before that, let me remind you that we are proceeding with eight parts of speech. I think you remember it. Eight parts of speech are noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. And the first two parts we have already covered. We are proceeding with the third part that is adjectives. Adjectives are describing words, describing or modifying, modifying words. And it modifies the nouns or pronouns. We have already learned for the nouns and the pronouns. Because it will be the dual of the action in the sentence. Uh, nouns or pronouns. We have studied and that nouns are naming words of persons, places of these, and pronouns will be used instead of noun, as she, he, they, we, etc. And uh, this Adjectives will be describing about this nouns or pronouns. For example, Harun is a smart boy. This is the sentence. And what is the structure of the sentence? Harun, that is subject, verb, and this is complement. And you see which are the nouns used here. Harun and boy are ad nouns. Harun and boy are nouns used in the sentence. And uh, before Adam, there is no modifier or describing words, but before boy, there is a describing word or describing smart, smart. We will understand a little more about Adam from this sentence that Adam is a smart boy. So, smart is used as an adjective here. We know that there are many adjectives like smart, beautiful, good, blue. Etc. And we will study in details about these types of adjectives. Adjectives are of six types. We will see one by one uh, and we will see in detail. Even though you have studied it, once again we will recall it. Adjectives of quality, adjectives of quantity, adjectives of number, demonstrative adjectives, interrogative adjectives. Positive adjectives. These three are familiar to you. Demonstrative, interrogative, and possessive. But you have studied it in pronoun within the adjective section. Again, you will study in adverbs also, but its functions are different. Even though the adjectives are almost adjectives, the words that is used are similar, the functions are different. And adjectives of quality will answer the question how, what kind of for example, she's a beautiful girl. What kind of a girl? Beautiful. Beautiful is an adjective that is used to answer the question. What kind of quality? It answers the question. How much? I have enough money. How much money do you have? Enough number. It answers the question. How many? I have three jobs in my hand. Three. That's the number, and it answers the question how many. Demonstrative adjectives will point out this. This job is mine. This is used as the adjective that this job is mine. This word is CMS. So this is used as adjective that. So it points out, points out this, that, those, etc. Interrogative adjectives will answer the question. Whose book is this? Whose? It answers the question. And answers the question that is used to make questions. Interrogative adjectives are used to make questions. And last one is it shows possession or ownership. This is my chalk. My. That is used to describe the chalk. So that is used to tell about the ownership. So these are the six types of adjectives 
we will see one by one, even though it comes ready in your previous class, we will record it once again and we will proceed with the other functions and the attributes. We will see the first type of adjectives that is quantitative adjectives or adjectives of quality. It answers the question what type of, what kind of. Quantitative adjectives will answer the question what kind of. And you know that adjectives are described in words. So look at these examples. A noun is an intelligent boy. Which are the nouns here? A noun and boy. These are the nouns that is used here. And there is no describing words here in front of this noun. So there is no adjective here. So let's see the second noun. Boy. And there is a word that is describing this boy that is intelligent. Now is what kind of boy? Intelligent boy. So this intelligent describes the noun boy. So this is called the adjective of quality in this particular sentence. Intelligent boy. The next example, Agnes is a good doctor. Which are the nouns here? Agnes and doctor. These are the two nouns used here and there is no describing words uh, here where Agnes is used. Please look at the second noun, doctor. So there is a word that is good. It tells you more about this doctor. Okay, so it describes the noun doctor. This is the qualitative adjective or the adjective of quality that is used here in this particular sentence. Next example, there was a tiresome project. Which are the nouns or pronouns here? This is a pronoun and this is a noun. You know that noun and pronoun functions are same. So this is a subject here, it and project that is a noun. And so there is no describing words when this pronoun is used, it. So let's look at the second noun that is project. And is there any describing words there in front of it? Yes, tiresome. It was a tiresome project. So this describes more about what kind of project. So that is adjective of quality that is used in this particular sentence. The fourth example, I have a blue box. Which are the nouns or pronouns? I and box. I and box. Let's look at the second noun, box. Is there any word that is describing this box? Will you get anything more about this particular box? Yes, you will get the answer, blue. This is a blue color, blue. So, color, all the colors are adjectives. All the colors are used to show adjectives or it describes the nouns. So, all these are called adjectives of quality. I think that you must have understood. Uh, adjectives of quality will tell you what kind of. It describes the noun at the same time it will tell you what kind of noun is that. Clear? The next type is adjectives of quantity. Adjectives of quantity will answer you the question how much. Examples, I bought only a little milk today. Which are the nouns used here or pronouns? I and milk. I and milk. These are the nouns used there. I bought only a little milk. What is uh, the word that is used to describe any of these nouns? A little. A little will tell you more about the noun milk. Normally, these quantitative adjectives or adjectives of quantity are used before abstract nouns or uncountable nouns. All the abstract nouns are included in uncountable nouns. These are used in 
uncountable now. So it is uncountable now. So little describes about milk a little. Okay, it tells you about how much. Again, this example is a car drinks some water. Which are the nouns in this hand that's a proper noun and water that's a common noun. And it tells you more about water, some, the amount, how much. People don't have enough wealth. Which are the nouns which are here? People, common noun, and wealth, abstract noun. So, this enough is describing the noun wealth. It tells you about how much. I think that you must have understood what an adjective of quantity. It answers the question how much. Next type of adjectives are adjectives of number. Adjectives of number answers the question how many. Normally, we understand that since how many it answers the question how many, it is which will be placed in front of countable nouns like ball, girl, chalk, book, etc. It will be placed for countable nouns. Already we have learned what are countable nouns. And let's look at these examples. She uses three books. Which are the nouns of pronouns in the sentence? She and books. And this three is used to describe books. It answers you see how many books she use. Does she use? How many books does she use? So this is adjectives of number. All the cardinal numbers, ordinal numbers are included in adjectives of number. Other than that, few, many is four. Rhea is the second child of Mr. Shah. Which are the nouns here? Rhea, child, Mr. Shah. And any adjectives used in any of this and in, before any of these nouns, second, second child. To describe some more about this child, you will understand a little more, or you will get a little more information about the child here. So, here, second is used as the adjective of number. Next example, the show begins in a few seconds. Which are the nouns? Show and seconds. Both are countable nouns. Seconds, we can count one second, two second, three seconds. And a few is used to describe seconds. All these are used in front of countable nouns. Books are countable, child is countable, seconds are countable. And a word that is used for a word that is used to describe a noun and which answers the question how many that is called adjectives of number. Understood? Now we will study about demonstrative adjectives. Do you remember which are the demonstrative pronouns? I think that you remember this, that, these, those. The same are demonstrative adjectives also. I have just mentioned when I took demonstrative pronouns, what's the difference between adjectives and pronouns used in a sentence. And demonstrative adjectives are also this, that, these, those. It points out things. Points out. Remember this, this points out things. For example, this ball is mine. This ball is mine. This ball. It points out this ball. So, uh, which are the numbers used to the... Which are the numbers used to the... Ball and mine. Which are the numbers used to the... And it tells more about... 
the ball. So this is called demonstrative adjective. Again, I did not eat those apples. Which are the nouns you pronounce? I and apples. And which is the describing word? Those. It tells you all about apples. So this is called demonstrative adjective. These pens are goggles. I have some pens in my hand and I am telling these pens are goggles. So this is which are the nouns used in here? Pen and goggle. These is used to describe the noun pens. Understood? Demonstrative adjectives it points on things. It tells more about the noun by pointing out. Let's discuss what are interrogative adjectives. What is the meaning of interrogative? Interrogative expressions. Interrogative sentences you have studied and interrogative pronouns you have studied. What is interrogative? It is used to make questions, question words. And which are the question words that is used to make adjectives? Whose, what, and which? These are the words that, that, are, that are used to make questions. For example, what time do you leave? Which are the nouns of pronouns of the sentence? Time and you. These are the nouns of pronouns. And what's the word that is used? If you see the structure of the sentence, you can divide in this way. So, so what time? It qualifies time. So, this is called interrogative adjectives. Time, what is that more about time? Which form do you like the most? Which are the nouns of pronouns? Form and you. What's the word that is used to describe any of these nouns of pronouns? Which. Which form. Which form is placed in front of noun. That's why it's called interrogative adjective. Whose song is more interesting? Which are the nouns here? Only one noun. That is song. And what's the uh, word that is used to describe this noun song? Whose? It describes about this song. So these are interrogative adjectives. Always there will be a noun and um, before that only an adjective will be placed. You, if you want to identify a, an adjective, first you identify the nouns. If there is a noun, then only there will be adjectives. Otherwise, there is no uh, relevance for adjectives. Uh, understood? The last type of adjectives are possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives are my, our, your, his, her and their. All these are formed from uh, personal pronouns. Already we heard all the personal pronouns. First person, second person and third person. And all these are formed from that only. And it qualifies the nouns that is used in the sentence. At the same time, it shows ownership or possession. And it will be clear when we discuss about the examples. Maria writes in her book. Which are the nouns used here? Maria, that's a uh, proper noun. And book, common noun. And which is the word that is used to describe any of these nouns? Her. It shows possession. Maria's, that's hers. It shows possession. The price goes to their team. And which are the nouns used here? Price and team. Team is a collective noun. And which is the word that is used to describe any of these nouns? There. That's why right. this is a possessive adjective. Third sentence My father celebrated his birthday. Uh, if you divide into a sentence structure, my father celebrated his birthday, that is object. And in both parts there is adjectives. Which are the nouns here? Father and birthday. These are the nouns. And 
Mike tells more about father. His tells more about birthday. So both of these are used as adjectives in this particular sentence. At the end of the term, possessive adjectives is clear for you. Children, please go through the textbook and make the terms clear. Please do the exercise on page number 30 and 31 and 32. And uh, please read this passage and also the exercise that is on page number 31 towards the end of the page and do the exercise. Also, you can take down the answers or correct the answers that is uh, that you have written in the previous week for the previous lesson. I will send the answers along with it. Uh, do it, correct it, and study. <laughs>